expected to see demand pan out for now looking very bleak. Well, let's get a move on and we're accustomed to calling it NIIT Tech, but now it's been rechristened as CoForge. Let's uh, talk a little bit more about their revenue guidance as well as healthcare, which has been added as the fourth vertical. So Sudhir Singh is the CEO of CoForge and now joins in on the show. Thanks so much for taking time out. So clearly NIIT Tech has changed the brand name now to CoForge. How does the management strategy change under this new brand? What are some of the key strategic areas that the company is going to focus on over the next two years? So for us, uh, the name change is emblematic of the, uh, the growth and the change that the firm has seen over the last three years. We've had a very successful three years having moved from being a $400 million firm to around a $600 million firm now. There are elements of our strategy which has clearly worked, which has got us here, which we will retain. And then there are a few other nuances that we will add on to it. The pieces that we will definitely retain is uh, A, the very strong IP focus of the firm, which has allowed us to create almost a $40 million insurtech platform. B, the culture of respect and trust which has resulted in our employee attrition being the lowest across the industry, which has resulted in almost every acquisition that we've done in the past being a complete success and clear integration synergies getting established, and which has resulted in the partnerships that we have, limited in number, but extremely deep, having be become growth drivers for our partners and for us. So those are elements of the strategy that will continue on a go-forward basis. The other aspect that we will overlay onto this will be a focus on healthcare as a vertical. So far, we focus essentially on insurance, BFS, and travel. Healthcare is the fourth vertical that uh, we incubated recently, and over the next two to three years, we would hope to grow that aggressively on a go-forward basis. Over the last three years, our digital portfolio has seen uh, significant expansion on the BPM side, on the digital process automation side and on the BPM side. We now believe our cloud and our data service lines and the capabilities, the IPs that we've created over the past three, three and a half years are at a critical size where they will take the next jump, just as BPM and digital integration have done over the last two years. And that could then be the other growth lever for the organization. So just curious to understand then, what is the rationale for this brand name change to CoForge? What does it signify exactly? So CoForge, uh, the name connotes working together to create lasting value. And it is reflective of the very deep employee and client centricity that is ingrained within our firm's culture. Uh, the reason why we did make the change was because over the last three years, to the point that I made earlier, We've been on a very sharp growth trajectory and a very accelerated change trajectory, which, has, which is what has driven the growth. Uh, we thought this was a good time to very explicitly call out the change, changes within the firm and the growth that the firm has recorded and to reflect it with the new name, which is what we've done right now. Last conversation in July had seen about two deals. How are the deal pipeline now shaping so far uh, in Q2? You know, how would you see further traction considering uh, everything is shifting on digital side? So the demand, the demand uh, remains resilient uh, and uh, our outlook continues to be consistent with what we had shared after our last investor call. We had talked about at least a 7% sequential organic constant currency growth and at least 150 bits expansion in EBITDA margin over last quarter. Uh, we remain consistent with those plans. See, CoForge over the next five years, will the, the revenue hit about a billion dollars? How do you see the changes in the service line that you just told us earlier? So CoForge Limited, uh, which was the erstwhile NIIT technologies, has, along with the rebranding, internally launched uh, a very clear and a very uh, explicit internal plan to create a path to a billion dollars. Internally, we call it path to a billion itself. 
the intent is to make sure that the we sustain at a minimum the growth rates that we have carved out over the last two two and a half years and that we carve out a path to a billion dollars at the earliest possible uh, at this point in time healthcare is clearly going to be a new vertical that will over time power us in the next few years as we chart that journey out cloud and data on the service line fronts are again going to be levers that we are counting on on to get us past that line Thanks very much for sharing with us the vision as well as the outlook for the business. Uh, that's the word coming in from the management of CoForge, formerly known as NIIT Tech. Shifting gears from one corporate to another, then A R M Agarwal is the chairman, managing director at ITI, now joins in.